Okay, we've got uh, Iowa State uh, head coach uh, T.J. Otzelberger here along with Taman Lipsy, Keyshawn Gilbert, and Milan Momsilovich. I see Randy Peterson in the room. Uh, I think um, we're going to have him ask our first question in honor of your retirement after 52 years of service. Ray. Alex, Alexis, bring him a microphone right here. <laughs> all right, I got two. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to all you guys, what, what kicked in tonight, or, or even last night? You put two of the best games of the season together. Why now? Why? I think it started with the Kansas State game. Um, we knew we didn't play our best, and we knew we needed to change things coming into postseason play. Um, so we, we talked, and we needed to play our best here coming to the tournament and going to the next tournament. I'd say just the work we put in since the summer, uh, just all the time that we spent together on and off the court, just blending together and just having fun off the court, on the court. And those, you can see those moments come out in the games because we're so connected and just have fun all the time. And obviously we played two great games back to back and uh, going to enjoy this moment a lot. You're the talker. You got it. Yeah, I, I, I give our guys all the credit. Um, you know, our last regular season game felt like we weren't as focused uh, as we needed to be on in a lot of aspects. Uh, it was great to have opportunity to get back to the practice court where, truthfully, we didn't know who we'd be playing so that we could just focus on us, especially offensively. Uh, our coaches did an amazing job in preparation, uh, putting together things that we can do better and improve upon. These guys have worked extremely hard. They've trusted. They've done the hard work. They play for one another. And we've, we've been really good defensively throughout the course of the year. But to see us take the steps we have offensively, it is truly special. And it's you hear it all the time. You want to be playing your best basketball this time of the year. I don't think there's any question um, that that's exactly what we're doing. And credit to our great coaching staff and credit to these guys for the hard work they do every day. Okay, remember to raise a hand and we'll get a wireless mic to you. Right here on the front row. <clears throat> Payne Blazovich, 24-7 Sports. Coach, you guys have been among the top teams in the conference over the course of the year, but was there a moment where you felt like this group was capable of going out and putting together a run like they just did? You know, credit, you know, certainly to Houston and their program because when we had the opportunity coming off a loss early in league play and they were coming in undefeated. Uh, it gave us a chance to, to be at our best to play a really good team. And um, we got off to a 14-0 lead. And um, I, I felt like our guys kept great focus throughout that game. And when you, you, you beat a team or a program that's as good as Houston is, you, you know, your guys know that they've accomplished something, that it's, it's, it takes a 40-minute effort. And, and when we had that win, I think it gave us the confidence to keep, you know, one day at a time moving forward. So we don't get ahead of ourselves. We just focus on the work the next day. But I do think that game gave us the confidence that all the hard work we're doing and everything was paying off for us. Now we just need to stay the course each and every day. Okay, let's go over here to the right. Uh, Justin Williams from The Athletic. Coach, what was your plan of attack for their ball screen defense? They're so good. There's, there's not a team in the country that's better at, at getting to the point of the screen and being aggressive with hands and, and really trying to put you on your heels. And we talked a lot about we need to have quick, simple ball movement, not try to necessarily attack it as much as draw the, you know, both defenders and then get the ball on the move and play for one another, be ready to attack closeouts, be ready to look at guys uh, rolling, cutting to the rim, and then – try to have as many random screens and ball screens mixed in so they don't see it coming as much. And our guys just did a great job of executing that. I mean, so smart, so skilled, so mentally tough because it's, it's easy to have a plan, um, but as gifted as their team is and as connected as they are and as well coached as they are, there's not many nights where teams shoot 50% from the field and assist to turnovers almost two to one. So um, credit to these guys for their connectedness and really being in unity uh, to play together. Let's go over here to the left on the second row. 
Coach Alec Bussey, 24-7 Sports. Your first three years have been filled with a lot of success, three tournaments, a Sweet 16. But does this moment of winning a Big 12 title maybe continue to prove that the philosophy you've built this program with is working um, at a really high level? Yeah, I mean, we're just – we believe in, in what we're doing. We believe in getting uh, high-character young men – who want to do the hard work, who want to develop and continue to better themselves in all aspects. Um, and, and we really believe in that model and that formula. We believe in these guys are student athletes too. We value their education as much as important as the basketball piece is. That's really important to me as well. And we're not going to deviate or change how we do things. Um, hopefully for, you know, for these guys, it validates the hard work that they're doing every single day because what's important to me is that as much as we do want to win every game, that they're built for success for the rest of their life and whatever they choose to do as college graduates, as husbands, fathers, community members. Um, what really matters to me is these guys have the ability to choose whatever they want to be successful in moving forward. And, you know, the wins in a, in a, in a you know, setting like this especially are, are icing on the cake, but they're not, they're not the main thing. The main thing is these guys become the best version of themselves. Taylor Gore to the right, about five rows back. Milan, walk us through that uh, step back three in the corner, what you were feeling. And uh, Taman, you had quite the move in three-pointer as well. Yeah, I think uh, he was running at me with a long closeout. Um, I passed down the shot, and then I think he kind of fell a little bit. Um, turned around, got that step back in the corner, created separation, and just knocked it down. Um, Milan, I think it was also a long closeout where uh, coming in on offense, just trying to attack, uh, get them on their heels. So I ripped right, uh, got them off balance a little bit, was able to step back as well and just knock it in with confidence. Let's go over here to the right. Uh, Greg Eklund, AP Broadcast. This is for Keyshawn. How would you summarize the step-by-step -step your team took to get to this championship game and saving the best for last in this championship game? Ask one more time. My bad. Summarize the step by step you took in this tournament to saving the best for last in this championship game. Uh, I say it started with the loss uh, at K State. Uh, that kind of put us in a mindset we're like, yeah, we can't be beat, and you know, humbled us a little bit. So you know, we went back to practice, got to work, got back to what you know, doing what we do every day, and um, you know, it, it ended up paying off in the, in the end. Go ahead. Hey, man, what kind of message did you guys send tonight to the nation? <clears throat> to be honest, however they want to perceive it. I mean, we don't really care what the outside world thinks of us. That's, that's why we're such a close group. And uh, we just put our head down and go to work. And uh, that's why I don't think there's anyone else more deserving than our team to be in this position and celebrate this moment. Uh, we've been working since June and uh, just having a lot of fun, but it's a lot of hard work. And uh, the, the outside world can take whatever from this game and uh, think of whatever they want. But at the end of the day, we're just going to get right back to work. Any more questions? Not seeing any hands. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for recognizing him. He's really important. Thank you. You bet. You're welcome.